Good morning, uh, day seven of the Panto Diary, Sunday the 24th of November 2013. Another line learning day, Andy Ford, get them learned. Had a good day at it yesterday, really enjoyed it. Um, concentrating on the lines, bit of footy in between. Probably the same sort of uh, format today. And tomorrow, cracking on, everyone will be there at rehearsals to push through to our opening day on the 6th of December. So um, as I said, we've got the basic shape that happened in the first week and now it's just tweaking things and making it all run together and then we bring in the technical bods, the lighting, the sound. So all, the, all those sort of things are happening this week so that's really good. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I'll keep you entertained by introducing you to our fantastic ugly sisters. You've heard me talk about them a lot. Uh, I caught up with them in rehearsals, that's Mr. Paul Burnham and Graham Hoadley. And uh, they had a chat with me. Here that chat is. Here we are back in the rehearsal rooms and I'm with our fantastic ugly sisters, Graham and Paul. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Hello. 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 I'm Graham. I'm Paul. How do you do? There you go. That's the way to do it. And are you enjoying rehearsal so far? Oh, yeah. Well, we have a lovely time. Christmas isn't Christmas without pantomime, is it? <laughs> and how many times have you played the ugly sisters together? We've done it one time one. before. Well, yeah, but you've done loads of pantomimes between you. Good yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is my eighth for first family. Is it? Consecutively, yeah. So, yeah. once as Ugly Sister or Ugly Sister? I've done Ugly Sister a few times. Last year I was with a twanky, and then mm -hmm. the year before I was Ugly Sister, and the year before that I was Sarah the Cooking Pig Witty. So, oh, brilliant. Yeah, so, this is. And yeah. Paul, how many pantos you know? Oh, uh, since I was 17, I think I've done a panto every Christmas bar three. So that's four then. Yes! Oh, I'm so pretty and oh, young really? and noisy. I've gone thinking dead. And this is what they look like when they're dressed up. In no, their this is us rehearsing our scripts this morning. <laughs> See, look, we, we can't do our scripts normal. We have to look pretty. Have, you, have you got a picture of you, of you dressed as the. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. We don't want to give too much away, but with the makeup. There we go. There we go. This is a picture of us looking absolutely gorgeous opening the Ideal Home Me. Exhibition. Yeah. No, no, I'm the pretty one in the red uh, wig. Moving on. Uh, yeah, I've already put on the blog how fantastic the, the ticket bit. Yeah, yeah it's cool. but the ticket bit. Oh, yeah. So how important is it for you? Because it's typical. You've got to be funnies and you've got to be even and comic at the same time. So and do you enjoy that? Because it's quite a balance. It's yeah. the best job because it's different to Dame. Dame's like a comic. Company, yeah. woman, whereas a sister is a villain and a comic at the same It's really interesting if you can get the ticket tearing right, which yeah. is a very dramatic scene and should be dramatic and very serious. Yeah. And, and then it's brilliant. brilliant. Well, yeah. we they come on for act two and make the audience laugh again in stupid costumes in the vault. You've but won. You've got it. Exactly. What I was going to ask you is how, did, how are your characters set? Have you brought your own character version of Dane together and it just gelled straight away? Or did you have to change slightly to pick for him or Graham have to change to pick? Because he needs such a great book. Not consciously. Well, no, because we're, we're actually, because we have a lot of banter together anyway, don't we? <laughs> as mates, because we are mates and, uh, and we are very different. And I'm sort of more because I actually quite like my character and I think you're a bit like yours in the funny sort of thing. But they are both people, but they are both funny and they are both different. That's what I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're having an absolute ball and this is only, you know, a few days into rehearsal, so it it will adapt and get stronger, but we're all enjoying it, aren't we? Oh, oh the best, best time. time. And so will you when you come and see it. See? Yeah. He's selling. Yeah. So the thing is, we'll hopefully catch up with the boys later on into the video diary and maybe when we go to the theatre and start seeing a bit of makeup. Maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. If you could go through some of that without, a without, bigger screen. without giving away too many <laughs> secrets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and Graham are fantastic. So yeah, they are outrageous and brilliant and funny and uh, you're going to enjoy them, I promise you. So, right, line learning for me. I'll be back tomorrow, um, which will be day eight. Flipping heck, it's flying by. And uh, hopefully a lovely interview with our beautiful fairy, Liz Robertson, who you Bristol Hippodrome goers will have seen before because we worked together uh, in Snow White a few years ago. And she's lovely. So I'll play that tomorrow. Got to go now, line learning. Have a lovely Sunday. Bye-bye.